Hello, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Planet Centauri with your host, Mr. Joker. That is me. I am still alive. I am still around. And it looks like I'm still making a video. Uh, we are on version 0.8.9c. And I'm going to go ahead and load in here. Uh, let's see. This is the new map, a uh, new, new level that I created. I've got some uh, peons that I've rescued. Uh, this is the, my new little base that I've created. Uh, not as clean as the last one that I really, really enjoyed, but uh, the new update will require you to have a new map. And the reason for that is because the new update has these things. Transformation seals. Very, very important. I've got level 1s, level 2s. I have yet to find any level 3s. These are what the level 4s look like. They're not easy to find uh they're not hard they're but they're not easy to find um and I'll, I'll show you exactly how to find them and what you can do with them because i haven't even tested it yet but i have i have the theory and the ideas uh in place and i've been working a lot since the update came out uh also uh for those of you wondering where have you been what have you been doing where where is all my videos well let me uh let me let me inform you of a couple things first off uh a year ago, last February, a year ago, I got married. Now, my wife and I haven't had a honeymoon yet, and we just got back from one. We had two weeks, two weeks in Europe, and it was amazing. We went to Amsterdam. We went to uh, uh, Brussels. We went to Paris. It was, it was fantastic. It was an amazing time. Uh, during that time, an update came out for the game. Now, there's been an update before that was for the multiplayer version, but it wasn't something that I felt that I could really cover uh, in its entirety as much as I would have liked to. Uh, I've also been doing a lot of streaming, a lot, a lot of streaming on my Mixer page, mixer.com slash Mr. Joker. I will be at E3. I'll be streaming from there as well. And I will be at PAX West up in Seattle at the uh, end of August, beginning of September. I'll be up there. So feel free to, uh, if you're going to be in the area, let me know down in the comments below, or uh, go ahead and pop in over on Mixer.com uh, slash Mr. Joker, because like I said, I am partnered with Mixer, and I am trying to make it a full-time thing. I will tell you this, if I can get part, if I can become full-time streamer, I will be putting out way more indie games and videos on YouTube, because it'll free up all my time, I won't have to work, I can focus on just the gaming portion of my life and i would be so grateful for that i have a patreon i've got some merch uh if you're interested in getting a logo uh, my logo on a shirt i've got that too it's all listed over on mixer.com slash mr joker and uh like i said partnered over there i play a variety of games a lot of AAA titles uh fortnite PUBG, star wars battlefront 2 which it still is is an amazing game uh despite all the criticism it got they've really turned it around a lot of sea of thieves uh if you play sea of thieves and you're on xbox and uh it seems very it's just an amazing game and if you're looking for people to play with definitely join my discord i've got a lot of people in there and we're always looking to play i'm playing state of decay 2 as well and i'm excited to go to e3 and find out other games that are coming out and i'll be talking about that because i'm actually going to be at the briefing i get to go this year to the briefing and I'm very excited about that as well. Uh, all right. I think that's enough advertising for myself. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. Keep in mind that my videos are all pretty solid on everything. They haven't changed too much for anything that goes on in this in, in the game. No, no major updates have changed how anything really works. So go back. Look through the videos. If you've got questions, I've pretty much covered almost everything you can do in this game. Almost. Uh, there might be a couple things. Okay. So, for starters, this table here has changed. This is one of the things that they did change, and that's what this new update is for. This is now the new transformation table. Now, before, uh, we had... Uh, where is it? Did they go bye-bye? What did I do with them? I think I put them in a, in a chest. Uh, I don't remember what I did with them. I got all this loot. Here they are. So, this used to be the new uh, transformation stuff, right? The, or this is the old transformation stuff. I can't even use them anymore. It won't even, it won't even let me. It's taking my, it's taking it, but it won't, it's taking my uh, magic, but it won't use it. So these are uh, no, no longer valid. 
uh, apparently. So the, what the new transformation table does is it allows you to turn into something that you would want to be. Uh, let me explain here. This is one of my favorite raptors. He is an amazing beast of a machine. And if I wanted to be able to turn into him and no longer be able to call him forward, it would cost one level two seal and a unknown raptor, which I would put over here. And then I have the level two seal on me and then I would seal it and I'd be able to turn it in, turn into him whenever I feel like it. Now we haven't done this quite yet. This is all in theory, of course. However, this here requires the spirits of those monsters you've caught. I have 2,238 and that took me a little bit of time to get just a little bit. I found that I had gotten rid of a lot of the soul gems because I wasn't using them. So I dumped them unbeknownst to me. They are now extremely valuable. You can go around, catch anything you want, come back here, click on the sacrifice tab, pop in one of these guys. This is just a regular sand slime that I caught by accident. And it's going to give me two. Now, what I haven't quite figured out yet, and there's there's definitely something special about it, and I haven't I don't know what it is, but by pairing it up with something else, oh, look at that guy. I caught him recently. I caught both of them actually. Look at these guys. Aren't they amazing? Ah, but one of them is 112. The other one is 112. But put them together and it gives you so much more. Now, these are unknown ones. And I tend to, I've been saving all the unknown ones I can get. Plus all the lar super large ones because I like the large ones. Now, this guy I can get rid of. Well, no, I can't get rid of him. I need him. So, I've got a collection here. There's some rare stuff here, right? Got a bunch of rare ones. Uh, I've got, these are my divines that I've caught. Okay. And this, uh, these are my legendary things. Some of the more lamer ones like uh, legendary chicken, a slime, sand repti, skeleton, spirit, tormented, a cavern slime. So I'm just trying to get a collection of stuff. Now I do have two, uh, devourers. I think, yeah, I've got two devourers. And I think we'll try, we'll see what this guy requires. See, look at that. A legendary devourer will require 3,048 spirits, a level two seal, and a divine devourer to be able to turn into the thing. Now, like I said, I don't have that much. I've got 2,000. It took me a while because you have to catch everything. And then you come back here and you get rid of it. And it based, and what that does is it will free up, uh, let me show you with, uh, what I do with him? Here he is. What that does, if we go over here, we sacrifice him. Gone. I just got two. Boop. And it frees up the gem. Pretty nice, right? All right, so let's go find something, maybe over in the forest, maybe a, a leaf uh, thing, maybe, or, uh, I don't know, something, something kind of fun that we can, we can run around as. I think that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. So what do I have here? I've got all these, these guys. I, I could try to go for this raptor business, uh, but I think I want to go for something else. So let's go on a hunt and, uh, I will see you guys in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I went out, I did some hunting. And I've got a lot of leaf lions. Now, these ones would be simple to seal. They wouldn't cost anything. It would use one of my level two seals. Now, I have a lot of level ones. I don't have that many level twos. So I really want to make sure that I, whenever I use them, I use them for something that's really worthwhile. So my hope is that this one, where is he? Where is he? Let's reorganize. Oh, he's up here. I've got a rare one that I caught. I think he looks super cool. He's really awesome looking. He uses a level two and he costs 744 of my spirits. This is another unknown that I will have to catch to be able to use him. So let's see if I've got a unknown in my chest here. Uh, this looks like it's a leaf lion. 
that is unknown. I believe it is. The base stats on the rare are good. This one, the other one's actually better. Oddly enough, the HP base stat is way higher. Oh, that's because it's level 37. That's the one I've been using for a long time. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it because I'm never really going to use them again. This is going to put them to good use. So we have our unknown. We've got our level 2 seals. We've got our, our the one that we want to be, right? Let's see what happens. Ready? Let's do it. Wait, where do I put the level 2 seal? <laughs> Can I put... Hmm... This part I haven't quite figured out yet. I don't know how to do it. I don't think it works like that. Hmm. Requirements. See, now that works. But I can't put both of them in there. Hmm. Not quite sure how this works. This is how we figure stuff out, guys. Because I have the level 2 seal on me. But it won't let me seal it. Requirements. I don't know where to put the level 2 seal because I can't stack them up it definitely goes the other way it definitely goes like that that takes a that's a level 2 but I don't want to seal that one. Hmm. I wonder if it takes double. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens, huh? He's a good one. Okay. So he has been sealed to that. So now... It requires hmm another level two seal? No. This is uh maybe hmm. I guess I can't put him in yet. It's very confusing to me. Cause I have the I have it. He is 100% uh, sealed. Alright, let's see what happens when I use it. Oh, sweet! Okay. It doesn't even require... There's no attacking, though. Not yet. He's not very fast. Can I jump up through here, though? His jumping doesn't work. Okay. Health is super low. Look at that. 77. 625. Alright, so let's try this. Let's, uh... Let's go out here. I don't think I can attack. That's my only concern. How do I... How do I attack? I can't. <laughs> okay. I could just be a frolicking, frolicking lion, I guess. I wonder, nothing's gonna attack. Is he gonna attack me? Yep, sure is. All right. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Fascinating. Alright, so now that we've learned that, let me show you where 
we can get these transformation seals. Now what I've done is I've uh, gone through and being the crazy guy that I am, I've developed this amazing ground clear. Oh, look at that. That's a rare one. Ah, I think I already got one. Uh, so I've got this spell that is pretty freaking amazing. It's not all the way ranked up to level seven yet. Someday it will be, but it's going to take a while still. And what it does, and I've shown this before when they put out the new, the new spells. I developed this one, and it clears the ground out so well, so well. You'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. Because in order to find some of these uh, transformation seals, you're going to have to go down deep. Whoop, I saw one. Hold on. All right. These rooms here. Whoop. In here. Now, this one's already been completed, but these rooms will drop a level one, possibly a level two seal. Now, you can get a lot of the level one seals on the top. However, they, all the chests on the top surface don't necessarily always have a level one seal. Some of the chests inside the caves will have them. And some, and some of these also will have them. Some of these uh, challenge, challenge rooms. Now, if you go further down, way further down, like, way further down, like, like, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see something up here? I swear, I, th I thought I saw something. Ah, come on. I saw something shiny. I was hoping for another room because I've been finding so many lately. Uh, maybe not. Nope. I did not. A lot of gems, though. A lot of gems. All right. So if we fall further down, we're getting down into the lava section. This is not where I wanted to be. Dang it. Some of the rooms at the very, very bottom, and I'm going to... Some of the challenge rooms that you can find at the very, very bottom are going to have... Oh! Uh-oh. That's not what I wanted. Come on. Come on. I'll get there. I'll get there. Hold on. Nope. Missed it. There we go. Uh, like I said, so some of the rooms in the very bottom... The harder, harder challenge rooms will absolutely have what you're looking for. What are you guys doing down here? This isn't your... Get out of here. I am boss status. Out of the way. So if you... You're going to have to dig a lot to really figure out where some of these areas are. And let me show you what I've developed to help you on your journeys this whoops they went the wrong way see that clears out maths massive paths now the only problem with this this spell is that it can't go through the ore it will bounce but that's not a big deal and it costs a tremendous amount of power to be able to use it but the good thing is it clears out a lot of space makes it way easier <laughs> to mine and to get through and anything dot everything dies in its path so you want to find uh, the level fours you got to go near the bottom of the cave system not into the lava section but definitely near near the bottom and uh, let's see I need I've been using so much magic Yep, there it goes bouncing. Let's try this way. I think that was a purple creeper down there. There's another one. Oh, you know what? This one might have it. Let's see. Nope. Absolutely does not. All right. Uh, I think that answers all the questions. Uh, I haven't, as, as you just saw, I haven't really been able to make one before. I right, get rid of the unknown. I don't want to be those things 
So I'm not really familiar. I'm, it might be a bug. Maybe you just can't attack with the higher ones. I haven't quite figured out how it all works. But once uh, I get more details on it, you'll definitely be the first to know. Uh, like I said, guys, the... Hey. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, like I said, I would love to do more videos. And I'm... Oh, oh, oh! That's the one I wanted to show you. Yeah! All right. So that room there... Uh, really? I might have beat this one already. Yeah, I did. But this room here is one that... Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. I beat this room. Didn't I? Hmm. I gotta kill these guys. And not... Oh, that's it. They're gone. Yeah, I definitely destroyed this one already. But this one is where you can get a level 4. Okay, uh, that's it for me. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for all the support this whole time, even though I haven't been around. I'm really sorry. Like I said, I've been super busy trying to stream, trying to get that off the ground. And uh, once I am able to, you know, go full time, there'll be more videos. But it could be till after the summer. Uh, any updates that come out for this game, I will definitely try my best to, to do. I'm not really going on any other trips outside of E3 and PAX West. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for all the support. Love your faces. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. I'm out.